Underfunding is hitting everywhere in PEI, but it's especially hitting my fourth and fifth vertebrae. We need to address a problem I'm sure we all have at SRHS, the Wiggles. No, not those Wiggles. These Wiggles. that we can't be shelling out money for every simple little inconvenience to students. I don't even think Bill Gates could do that. But it isn't it enough that several students in our chemistry class would rather stand for 80 minutes than sit for one? The worst part is that some teachers don't even have sympathy for us. Do they not remember the two Advils they took this morning for their hernia problem? Obviously not. It's not our fault we can't get comfortable. We've tried all the positions. The widespread, the frog, the contortionist, even the dean. If Robert Gibbs can afford to sit on a $7,460 first class seat from India to PEI, the government can certainly afford to give me a freaking lumbar support. How can our school board justify that we can afford to send teachers to meetings that seem to be every month, but we can't find the money to afford stools that are sizable enough to fit my large cafeteria food loaded rear end? Simple. They don't justify it. They just do it without even a fragment of consideration for our opinions. Speaking of the cafeteria. Let's mention another serious problem caused by underfunding, cafeteria food. Anyone who has had the misfortune of eating a Chartwell's rubber burger will agree that this stuff that they're serving us is closer to a heart attack than a month full of Baconators at Wendy's. The worst part of this Michelin tire factory that we call a kitchen is that the people that work there know it's crap, but they can't do a thing to change it. There's only so many ways that you can cook a burger, and any way you try it, if it goes in looking like rubber, it's probably going to come out the same way. I mean, there's only so much that a deep fryer can do. Come on, a little variety never hurt anyone. Instead of cooking chicken burgers and fries every day, let's try to spice things up a bit and make some nachos. Let's spare a chicken a mastectomy and make a freaking salad. Let's all close our eyes and picture the good old days. Everyone could tell what flavor slush you had by the color of your tongue. And garlic twists were the silver lining to our otherwise monotonous and boring lives at school. And let's not even try to revisit the oatmeal cookie obsession. Has everyone forgotten that Sam broke her tooth on the garlic fingers they serve here? We haven't. Food should melt in your mouth and make you feel happy, not fun your dentist's vacation to Cuba. Good food is an option. Safety is not. It would be easier to take our school seriously when they preach about how important our education is if we weren't shuffling around in our seats and listening to our stomachs roaring out in protest. And all of this because some cheap suit-wearing executive isn't willing to fork out some money for a few seat cushions and a menu with a little more variety?